good morning and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord this is the moment of a meditation meditating on God's word and spending these few minutes in his presence with his word today's meditation is taken from Hebrews chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 which says how shall we escape if we ignore such a great salvation this salvation which was first announced by the Lord was confirmed by us by those who heard him God also testified to it by signs wonders and various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will this is the passage salvation through Jesus Christ is spoken of a great salvation beyond description and beyond comprehension this meditation is to answer this question why is salvation by Jesus Christ is so great and I answer this question through today's meditation number one because of who the author of salvation is it is God Almighty himself it is not man-made it is not originated with any humanity it is not the idea of any human being it is God himself who initiated his great salvation it was God who made the announcement first in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 consider this the announcement was made in time and in space but this salvation was made or announced or planned before time and space Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 I would like you to take down today's references and read after this meditation and think about what you hear again so that it will be settled and established in your heart consider this before he created the universes he saw us and he saw our need for forgiveness restoration and redemption this is what God has seen about us he determined that he would have a people for himself to, to uh, made perfect to live with him throughout eternity first Peter chapter 1 verse verse 20 and uh, and also chapter 2 verse 9 and I would like to read this passage first Peter chapter 1 verse 20 it says here he was chosen before the creation of the world but was revealed in these last times for your sake and then again chapter 2 verse 9 which is a great passage which says here but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to God that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and brought you into the marvelous light of his love what a savior and what a salvation and he saw you chosen you forgave you cleanse you and then adopted you to be holy and blameless to be his children he did all these before he laid the foundations of the universes oh 
can you just imagine how old is your salvation and how great therefore is the salvation because of who originated the lord god almighty before time and space began before his creation works began oh wonderful isn't it that he saw you and me and did all these wonderful things that brought salvation to us that's why this salvation is so great and secondly again why this salvation is so great because of who the agent of this salvation who brought the salvation down to earth among us it is jesus christ god's own son my dear friend uh, not an angel no other created being according to john's gospel chapter 3 verse 16 this is what it says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life And again Galatians write down these references and read it later. Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5 and then 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Let us look to 1 Peter verse 20. He was chosen before the creation which we have already read. He determined your salvation and my salvation. not an angel no other created being christ himself and he is the agent it was by him and through him god the father brought this salvation to us that is why it is so great a salvation number 3 why this salvation is so great because of the price paid to buy our redemption our salvation what was the price paid romans chapter 5 verse 8 says romans chapter 5 verse 8 let us look into this these are wonderful verses that we can meditate on chapter 5 verse 8 which says here but god demonstrates his own love for us in this that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us while we were yet sinners and that means we were we were enemies of God and for such wicked sinful enemies Jesus Christ the son of God died for us shed his blood and thus brought salvation and forgiveness and cleansing and that's why it is so great a salvation the cross is a demonstration of god's love every drop of blood that jesus shed speaks what does his blood speaks i love you i forgive you i love you i forgive you hallelujah and that is the message it the his blood speaks better things than abel's blood and we praise god for that jesus on the cross is a demonstration of god's love the cross itself is a demonstration of god's love and jesus on the cross also is a demonstration of god's love for god so loved the world that he sent his own son and the concept of the cross the crown of thorns the wounds 
the outstretched arms and legs which was which were fastened onto the cross all speaks of his love a love for you and love for me hebrews chapter 12 verse 24 you say it's a speaking blood which speaks better than the blood of abel speaks what does abel's blood speaks oh lord look down on humanity he is sinful and wicked because of sin he became a murderer do something oh god do something and save humanity that is the blood cry of abel's blood but when christ came he brought the answer hallelujah he died and shed his blood for the remission of our sin for our redemption for 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 setting us free from the very power and influence of sin and therefore those who have jesus christ in his or her heart the darkness goes forgiveness comes in and cleansing happen we become a new creation and that is what christ brought us and the first peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19 say we are redeemed not by the perishable things of silver or gold but by the lamb of god the precious blood of the lamb of god hallelujah therefore the blood of jesus christ the sinless one the blood cleansing blood redemption blood redeeming blood overcoming blood revelation chapter 12 verse 11 we have overcome the devil himself by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony what is our testimony oh the blood of jesus christ has set me free and cleanse me and now i am a new creation i am saved forevermore and it also is a healing blood it brings healings to our inner man it brings healing to our spiritual sickness and complete deliverance from the power of sin itself it also brings physical healing it brings emotional healing the and it brings deliverance from demon powers the blood of jesus christ my friends there are two weapons god has provided for the people of god for those who believe in jesus christ and the devil has no answer to this sword number one the blood of jesus number two the word of god which is the sword of the spirit amen salvation at what price it is freely given to us but never forget it is not because it is cheap it is because it is so costly that if you and i try to buy it we will never be able to buy and the only way you and i could have the salvation and eternal life through forgiveness of sin is by a loving father in heaven freely give us and save us and adopt us that's what he did but remember the price is too great and too big it is not an angel's blood or an animal blood it is the blood of the son of god himself and therefore never imagine that we receive salvation freely not because it is so cheap it is too expensive that you and i will never be able to buy or purchase it my friends you know what it means the immortal and invisible god became mortal and a visible human being the one who lives in an unapproachable light 
has come down in human form into this dark world darkened by the evil of sin carrying in his body the sinless blood surrender himself to be killed and the blood was shed the creator becoming a creation the spirit putting on himself flesh and blood and bone the eternal becoming temporary and my friends this is an amazing grace and therefore tonight let me say it once again if we neglect or ignore this great salvation because of in whose heart it is born because of the uh, who the agent is and thirdly because of the price and then again let me tell you the apostles confirmed these truths that our salvation is in no one else except in the lord jesus christ the son of god because he is the only one who paid the price by his blood and his life in order to purchase our redemption our salvation and set us free from the slavery of sin and made us children of god and always remember that jesus loves you how could anyone resist such love how much he loved then he spread his arms and say i love you this much and it is more than that my friends and may the lord bless you that he who was eternal became a temporal temporary in order to bring eternal life and eternity to us that we may spend eternity with this loving god and savior jesus christ god the father god the son god the holy spirit now the spirit's power is given to us that we may live this new life as forgiven saved cleansed we are now children of god able to call our god abba father this is love how do you respond to this love give yourself to god and surrender yourself completely to god let him take your life over and make it his own you will find eternal life and eternity you spend with this god forever and ever in that new heavens and new earth god bless you as you make your choice and surrender yourself acknowledging jesus christ as the only savior and lord father i pray that you bless and help these those who have listened and making this choice let all the fears and doubts be gone let faith come in opening their inner eyes to see the meaning and significance of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for our sin thank you for giving your grace to your people to do it in Jesus name amen my friends this is a new day enjoy this day and have a wonderful day god bless you